Basai Dai. Basai Dai is first practiced at brown belt or third Q level. Many karateka use Basai Dai for third Q gradings and then continually up to black belt. Basai Dai is a very strong kata and very typical of the Shotokan style of karate. Basai Dai literally translates as to penetrate a fortress or to storm a castle. The yoya position of Basai Dai is feet together, left hand open, right fist is placed in to the left hand, the left hand folds around the right fist with the thumb placed on top, arms straight, so once you're standing in the yoya position, the fists are approximately two fists away from the bottom of the stomach in front, and you are looking straight ahead. The first move of Basai Dai is a very strong move and starts with a knee lift or I should say a knee attack. Many people do this move and they simply lift their knee straight up. What should happen is as you lift the knee it actually turns into an attack so it's a knee attack so the knee drives forward. So what should be happening is you should be driving off your left leg as you drive the knee up and forward same time as you drive the knee up and forward the right fist stays in the left open hand and they both pull back to the left side of the body you then drive from the left leg once again and you land in Kozadachi and block augmented forearm block Uchiyuki the right arm stays a fist, the left hand remains open and the hand comes to the inside of the right forearm with the fingertips just near the wrist joint, thumb bent. The next move is inside forearm block. You turn 180 degrees behind and perform inside forearm block Uchiyuki with the left arm. There's a few different variations of the next move. Some people extend the left arm straight, bring the right arm across the body and then perform inside forearm block, Uchiyuki. Other people leave the left arm there, as in the video, and perform inside forearm block with the right arm, rotating the hip into the showman or square position. The next move, we are once again going to turn 180 degrees. We step across with the right leg, we step, stretch the right arm forward, and the left arm lifts, ready to block with an outside forearm block. So reverse outside forearm block with the left arm. We then again perform inside block, Uchiyuki, on the spot with the right arm. So the body is square 
and then as you perform the uchiyuki your body rotates to the hanmi side on position the next movement is catching a kick coming from the side so you bring your right leg back you bend your knees and you scoop the arm down which catches the leg and you lift the right arm up to the right side of your body this varies from organization to organization but the way we practice this is the right palm faces out on the next move we just use the one arm to block sotuki outside forearm block and step with the right leg inside forearm block with the left arm and rotate the body square the feet can remain stationary and just perform the body rotation or the front foot can pull back very slightly remaining to keep the center of gravity low the next move we pull the left foot up into the shizentai position yoi left fist comes on top of the right hikate arm knees are slightly bent then we open the left hand and push forward tatashuto or knife edge with the hand arm is straight in this position and now the legs are straight slightly flexed and we're in the shizentai position next technique is chokuzuki straight punch with the right arm and we keep square this move now the arm bends back to the left shoulder and then we twist the feet to the left 90 degrees strong pivot using the hips and body and perform right arm uchiyuki to the front on this next move we're going to rotate both feet to the front and perform left chokuzuki straight punch as you do this move push the crown of the head up the next move we're going to perform left arm uchiyuki so once again we're going to rotate and twist the feet 90 degrees to the right and perform left arm uchiyuki to the front the body is in the showman position square from here we're going to step forward shuto uki in kokustash in back stance so knife hand block in back stance we step with the right leg and perform the block after this first shuto we're going to practice two more going forward as soon as you land kime and focus and then you're going to step back shuto when stepping forward shuto in the basic kata try and stretch the preparation arm forward imagine someone's pulling you forward even when you're stepping back try and pivot the hips at the last second for the shuto keep the weight back try not to bend the wrist too much through the kata your breathing should be silent and there should be no expression on your face so no grimacing no pulling faces keep the face calm breathing steady and natural the next move we're going to move the left leg across and we're going to grab so imagine someone's grabbing your wrist the right arm comes under and up you grab their hand with your left hand and then you're going to hook your right arm around their arm and you're slowly going to rotate the body and pull the arms down this represents the pulling of an opponent onto you when this is done in application the pull is done the same time as the kick we're now going to perform fumikomi stamping kick with the right leg the knee is going to come right up in the gap between the arms and we're going to drive and pull the arms back so this as an example of pulling someone onto a kick so imagine you're grabbing hold of someone's arm and you're kicking down to their knee as you pull here is also the first ki after the kick lift your knee high prepare your arms for shuto with the left arm so the right arm stretches to the back of the dojo left palm up and then step back with the right leg and land shuto step forward one more shuto one more shuto uki in kokustash stretch the left arm forward push the left knee forward lift the right arm up at the same time 
and then pivot strongly with a right side shutoki. The next move is a slow move. Imagine someone's grabbing your lapels. The hands are going to slap under their elbows to break the grip or on the inside of the grip to actually break their arms outwards. In the kata this is done slowly. Keep your knees bent. As you cup your hands in front of your stomach, fingers facing forward, lift the palms up close to the body and then roll the fists into two almost agyukis where the fists are just in front of the forehead, two large knuckles touching as in the video. This next move varies from organization to organization but from here we do a short step and double bottom fist into the ribs either side. Motodad, short front stance, then we push from the back leg into oizuki where the body and hips are square, showmen. The next move is very similar to Hian Godan. Left leg comes across, left arm opens and right hand opens and we rotate round and attack the groin, blocking with the left arm as we do so. Again, this body position should be square, showman, front stance and a split second, stop and pause. Application for the next move is a takedown. So imagine hooking the right arm under someone's knee and then the left arm strikes to their chest and you lift. This is done slowly in the kata, pull the left leg back slowly, lift the right arm up to a high uchiyuki behind and the left arm gidambrai. Both fists should finish at the same time. Next move, we're going to spin round and perform gidambrai in kibadach. Lift the right knee high, cross both arms and block down gidambrai in kibadach, horse riding stance. After the downward block, the left arm comes under the right arm and we slowly come round with backhand heisho. Three to four seconds, keeping Zanshin awareness. This is a slow, relaxed move. Try not to force and squeeze the muscles. Mikazukageri, Mawashi Empi. So crescent kick, round elbow. Keeping the right elbow back as you kick the hand with Mikazukigeri with the bottom of the foot. And then land in Kibadach horse riding stance with a strong roundhouse elbow. From here, we're going to punch straight down with the right fist. The left hand that is open becomes a fist on top of the elbow or to the inside, thumb facing up. We then repeat the same strike with the left arm and then once again with the right arm. The timing on the three strikes after the elbow should be one, two, three. Next move, we pull the left fist back to Hikate with the right fist on top. We move the right leg across. Don't pull the right leg back, just step across. Make your stance stable and perform Yamazuki, U punch. When you execute U punch, imagine both fists are against the wall. So you want them on the same level. One fist is directly above the other. Stretch the top arm over. We slowly bring the leg back. This time the hands go to the right side with the right fist underneath in the hikate position, left fist on top. Lift and drive in with the left knee strongly and perform Yamazuki on the left leg. There's two ways to do this technique. One with the back straight as in the video and another one with the body angled in so the body is the same angle as the back leg. Either way is fine. We then pull up with the left leg and we repeat one more with the right leg. Driving in with the right knee this time and landing with the Yamazuki. Should be a good stretch on the left arm at the, at the back and the arm, forearm should be above the head. The bottom arm is just curling up very slightly. This next move is quite a tactical move. We're going to bring the left leg up, extend the right arm into the air, left arm round, and we're going to hook the arm around. There's two different ways to do this. One is uchiyuki, and one is a hook in 
back fist. Feet should be in line and hips should come round. The next side, extend the arms first and then drive from the left leg to the right leg, front stance facing the right and perform the same move with the left arm. The next move from here is Shutoki in Kokustash. Step up with the back leg and perform 45 degrees right side Shutoki. This is a very fast move so it should be a double quick step. After this move the attack is coming from the front 45 degree angle. This is a Kamai move with Zanshin. It's slowly, you keep the same stance and slowly move the right leg round 45 degrees to the back. This next move is the final move, very strong. Shuffle the feet. Right leg steps up quickly, then the left leg sh shoots forward. Left side, Shutoki with a strong Kiai. When you Yame, try not to push off the floor with the left leg. Try and pull, use the inside leg muscles to pull the left leg back into the starting position. And then bow and finish. And that was Basai Dai.
Pasai lah. 